can see that in 1960, there was a lot of uh, hard rock stuff being sung. The Beatles were singing things like, I want to be your man. Let me, you know, let me hold your hand. Uh, we had uh, the Rolling Stones were doing all rock stuff, you know, um, Chuck Berry stuff. Everything was hard and junk, junk, solid. Eric Burton. And then LSD came along. And the music suddenly went all trippy and dreamy and, uh, you know, flowers that grow so incredibly high and, you know, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Everything became much softer, much more hallucinogenic, trippy, dreamy. And now that the drugs are gone, we're coming back again to the solidness. Everybody's getting themselves together again. You know, we've got... The people who lived through the, the LSD experience went through a complete facet of learning, you know. And it's just... You know, it must have been done some other way when my father was a when my father was a kid. Maybe they did it by going to war. You know, I was talking to an air hostess who told me that she was on a line, TWA, which was flying soldiers to the front of Vietnam, and she would watch a platoon of soldiers together get on the plane. And when they got on the plane and they were on the way to Vietnam, they would be all, you know, getting as much booze down their throats as possible all bragging about wanting to get into battle and fight it out, all trying to grab a hold of the hostess and things like that. Now, she'd watch the same platoon on the way back after they'd experienced combat, on the way back to America, and they'd become men. They were dignified and quiet, and they shut up, and they'd behave themselves, and they didn't say anything. So for them, really, that's kind of like an LSD trip. That's what it does to you. There is so much communication, but there's so much a lack of communication. The tools are there for communication, but we're not using them right. Television is being misused, radio is being misused, the movies have been misused. The movies in Hollywood, for instance, have told the biggest, dirtiest lie about America than for the past 30 years. This is probably the greatest lie that mankind's ever told. This is probably the greatest lie that mankind's ever told.